here one rod is there l shaped and here one mass is there m on which some harmonic force is coming f not sin omega t this is c this is c this distance is a and this distance is b this is complete one system this is complete one system so they are asking uh, find the natural frequency of this system in radian per second see this is something very very important problem because one thing i want to bring into the notice of every person here that mg torque will create little bit of x, kx i initially here so mg torque will be balanced by the kx i torque therefore the mg torque will not be considered here because of this force mg already this spring will be little bit displaced at the previous one before the mean position up to the mean position it's already displaced so mg torque will be totally balanced so we we don't have to take the mg torque now we have to just shift it here theta so this will go here theta and we have to see if theta clockwise we are going to see theta clockwise we are going to give how much torque is coming here so this k will be uh, how much this a theta will be there so the force will be k into a theta backward force k into a theta his torque will be in anti clockwise direction into a is more to k into a square theta and this uh, damper will be compressed by compressed by a theta the damping force will be cx dot so how much that force c into a theta dot so into a more so this is c into a square into theta dot and then uh, another force will be inertia force which is a uh, which is a uh, i theta double dot and one more force will will be giving you the torque that is f sin f not sin omega t into v so that is a clockwise torque that is f not sin omega t into v so the summation of these all forces will become zero that's a d lambert concept and the i we know very well that is m into b square because about the point of in the complete system i will be m into b square m is at the distance b so we can say this is i theta double dot plus c a square theta dot theta dot plus k a square into theta equal to f not or you can say minus f not sin omega t into b must be equal to 0 so the i we know very well mb square so mb square theta double dot plus c a square theta dot plus k a square into theta it is f not sin omega t into v so if we if we divide by mb square so this is theta double dot plus c a square upon mb square theta dot plus k a square upon mb square into theta equal to f not upon mb square sin omega t into b one b will be cancelled out so we know very well if the theta double dot coefficient is 1 then the coefficient which coming with theta is omega n square so this is omega n will be under root of k by m into a square by b square which is a by b under root of k by m so the right answer for this problem is is a so the answer will be 0.5 